Welcome to Fight Master Yoga, a very scary Fight Master Yoga. I'm Leslie Fight Master. Happy Halloween. Super scary today because Elmer is here and he can attack at any moment. <laughs> he has just been attacking me as we've been setting up, getting my feet, everything else. So he'll probably <laughs> jump in at any time to say hello. He loves Halloween, huh, Elmer? So Happy Halloween. Our class today, we're gonna to move through some postures and I got some cat fur in my mouth, which is also scary. And we'll just have some special poses today for Halloween. Please push the like button if you like it. Share this with your friends and subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe and really push that like button a whole bunch of times. Actually, I think you can only push it once, but tell everyone you know to push it a bunch of times. Okay, let's get started. Grab two blocks and a strap and a blanket if you like. All right, here we go. Let's start sitting up nice and tall. Let's ground down through the sit bones. Start to lengthen through the spine and begin taking some long, smooth breaths in and out through the nose and make them scary. Take a moment to bring your hands together in front of your heart in Anjali Mudra and set an intention for your practice. All intentions are welcome always. My intention today is to be scary yet safe. Let's come forward onto the hands and knees and take your hips back to your heels. We normally call this child's pose, but today it's going to be pumpkin pose. So coming into pumpkin pose. You can rest your head on the floor or you can make fists with your hands, rest your head on the fists, whatever you like. And just take a few long breaths. Imagine the breath is moving from the base of the spine as you inhale and all the way to the crown of the head and then exhale crown of the head down to the base of the spine on the exhale. And here comes Elmer. It is scary. He's going to get my hat. <laughs> and then as you inhale, we're going to come on to the hands and knees. <laughs> Elmer, your belt. Go get your laser. Go get your laser. Hands and knees. <laughs> Wrists under shoulders, knees under hips. Bring the chest forward. Inhale. And then exhale like a scary, scary Halloween cat. Round your back. Draw your chin in. Pull your belly in. And inhale. Bring the chest through. And exhale. Round your back. Chin toward chest. One more time, inhale, chest forward, lift the chin and tailbone up. And then exhale, round the back, press away from the mat. And then come to neutral spine. I'm gonna put this over here for Duke to play with. Walk your hands in front of the shoulders, spread out your fingers, tuck your toes, lift your hips for downward facing dog. Or today we can call it haunted house pose, like a I'll be like your house shape. <laughs> so start to bend one knee and the other. Or we could call it rabid dog. I suppose that's scary. Make sure to walk your dog, bicycle the legs. Bend both knees, keep the hips high, and then reach the heels toward the floor. Arms and ears are in line if you can. If you have on a hat, it's harder. <laughs> And then as you inhale, make your way into plank pose, top of a push-up. And then as you exhale, we'll take the knees down, shift forward, hug the elbows in, lower all the way down. Hands by low ribs, inhale, little cobra, because that's scary, cobra pose. And then exhale to the knees again, tuck the toes for haunted house pose. Take a couple breaths here. And then breath in, exhale it out, bend the knees, look up and walk or hop your feet all the way to the top of your mat. Take an inhale, come halfway up and exhale to fold. 
As you inhale, press down through the feet and reach all the way up. I know, are you stuck? I'm sorry. Hold on. Reach all the way up, look up, and then we'll take the hands together and stretch up a little bit taller. And then exhale, shift the hips to the left and reach over to your right. Or a variation of half moon pose. And inhale the arms up. So your arms can be up like this, but I've got the hat so it doesn't work as well. And exhale to the other side. And inhale, come back through center. And exhale to release, we'll come into mountain pose, but today let's call it skeleton pose. So I'm a skeleton, all my bones stacked up on top of one another. Close your eyes, take a couple long breaths. And our ujjayi breathing can be like the Darth Vader breath today. A little scarier. And then inhale, reach up nice and tall, stretching up. Exhale, fold forward, hinging from the hips. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, step back into plank and pause here for a moment. We're gonna call this one Frankenstein. We're gonna do some ab work. So keep the arms and legs straight. Walk right foot forward a little bit, then left and let your feet come with you. And right and left, just like Frankenstein. And then back and back and back and back. Elmer can't help it, he's gotta do it. Let's go right and left and right and left and then back with the right and the left and the right and the left and chaturanga knees up or down. Inhaling upward dog, exhaling downward facing dog. Stretch all the way back. Yes. Now anytime you want to break, take your knees down and rest in pumpkin pose. That's always an option. Otherwise, you're in down dog. Take one more breath in. Exhale it all out. Bend the knees, look up, step or hop your feet forward. Inhale, halfway lift, and exhale to fold. Press down through the feet. We'll take the knees and feet together if you're comfortable with that or you keep them a little apart, bend the knees, reach up. Which is pose? Which is broom? So I've got my broomstick here, we'll pretend. And I can do my <laughs> laugh. Sit back in your imaginary chair, draw your belly in, tailbone down for three, two, and inhale to come up and release. So we're gonna take tree pose. Now trees are scary, of course, but they're also awesome and be awesomely beautiful. So today's pose will be scary ghost pose in tree. Left foot down, pick up your right foot first. So you can take your right foot anywhere below or above your knee. Anywhere except for on the knee joint. Inhale, bring the arms up, stretch up tall. And then as you exhale, you'll gently sway side to side and make a ghost sound of your own choosing. I'm going to make You make whatever sound you like as you move in a scary way. Take one more breath. And release the arms and release the leg. Right foot down, we'll pick up the left foot. Again, anywhere below or above the knee. You can also keep the foot on the floor if you're feeling a little wobbly today, especially with our wobbly, scary ghost tree pose. Reach the arms up when you can. Swing a little side to side. Ooh. Elmer sees it's scary. Ooh. Stretching up nice and tall. Take another breath. Release the arms, release the leg. It is kind of hard to move on side to side on purpose. Step your feet out nice and wide. We're gonna take Trikonasana Triangle Pose. 
So turning your right leg all the way out, your back toes in a little bit, line up heels to arch. I'm gonna get a, bro a block handy, I've got my brick today. I would recommend you have one there as well. Arms up to a T. We'll shift from the front hip crease, reach out and down. Take the hand to the block if it's there, or you can use your shin. Stretch up through the top arm, and we'll call this one Witch's Hat Pose today. Because if you could see, my legs are sort of in a hat position. <laughs> Reach up nice and tall. And lengthen from your front hip through your front armpit, this bottom side of your body. Keep pressing into the base, the big toe of your right foot. Where is Elmar? Is he like right under me right now? And then we're gonna take this one into a half moon pose. Now you can stay exactly where you are or take this top arm, put your left hand onto your hip, bend your front knee, pick up your block, take it about six to 12 inches in front and float the back leg up for more moon. I would call it full moon, but it's probably not appropriate, so we'll stay with half moon. Reach the arm up as Elmer is so scarily attacking me. And breathe for three. If you really wanna get fancy, you can bend your back knee and reach for your foot, but that's only if you're super fancy. If you're feeling that, you don't have to do it. Two. Now we're gonna come back down and land right into warrior two which kind of also feels like a witch on a broom to me. So I'm lined up heel to arch, right knee over ankle, gaze over the fingertips, pull in through the belly and breathe for three, two, and one. Straighten the leg, grab the block, take it to the other side. Turn the left leg all the way out, the back toes in a little. Make sure your feet are lined up heel to arch. Inhale your arms to a T. Shift from the front hip crease, reach, reach, reach as far as you can. Take the hand down and stretch up through the top arm. Let the shoulders release away from your face towards your waist. Pull in through the belly, bottom ribs forward, spin your top ribs back. And breathe here. So again, you're going to try and find length, especially from this bottom hip through the bottom armpit. How's my hat? It's like falling off. <laughs> so our witch's hat pose. Now you're welcome to stay in this witch's hat pose or you can join me in your half moon pose or my half moon pose, whatever you wanna call it. Take your top hand to your hip. Look down at your front foot. Now your toes are gonna to wanna to turn in, don't let them. Bend your front knee, pick up your block, take it six to 12 inches in front. Float the back leg up when you're ready. Pull in through the belly muscles, through the core muscles. Your heel and hip should be about the same height and then extend the leg up when you're ready. Three, keep pressing into the base, the big toe of the left foot, two, and then we'll slowly, slowly make our way into warrior two, AKA flying on a broomstick pose. Make sure the knee is right over the middle toes. Take another breath in. And straighten that leg, take the feet to parallel, and I'm gonna take my toes out a little, my heels in, and come down into a squat. So this reminds me of a frog. Ribbit, you can do the ribbit if you want to. Sorry, I didn't give you any warning, Duke. Ribbit, am I going out of the frame? Ribbit. <laughs> That's a fun one. <laughs> if you're doing this with your kids, make sure to do some ribbits. Let's bring the hands to the heart. So up nice and tall, opening up those hips. And then let's add just a little twist to this. So bring your left arm forward and wrap it around, or you can just take it right to the floor, right arm up. Now, if you wanna really open up the hips some more, take your right hand behind your back and clasp behind, holding onto that leg. And I'm rolling my top shoulder back. Oh, and it feels really good. And then we'll come back to center and do the other side. So right hand down, left arm up, twisting. Or if you wanna get into the shoulders a little more, you'll wrap this right arm, take the left hand. Now I'm clasping hands. You can hold on to a strap or you can hold on to your clothes too, that works. Whatever works to get into that stretch, never matters how deep you go in. Three, take two breaths. 
and then come back to center. Now I'm just going to set my hands down and sit right on my bottom and turn this way toward the long way of the mat and take the hands right behind. I'm going to take reverse table, so the feet are parallel, fingertips face front. I'm going to fix my witch's collar and then lift up into what I'll call spider pose today. Now if you are feeling a little frisky or you're doing this with your kids, walk, 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 walk forward, walk, 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 walk back, walk forward, and walk back. Let's do one more. Walk forward, one, two, three, four, scary spider, walk back, one, two, three, four, and down we go. Onto the back. Oh, am I going to be able to do onto the back? Let's see. Oh, so far so good. So I'm going to take the feet, hips distance apart, arms by the side, and press into the heels, inhale for bridge. I'm going to grab the sides of the mat today, pull the mat away to widen across my chest and my collarbones, and we'll call this troll bridge. So scary troll bridge. Keep the chin away from the chest, and breathe for three, and two, and come on down, rest a moment. And let's do one more, press into the heels. Inhale to lift up, spiral the thighs in toward each other. Widen across the collarbones, and breathe for three. <laughs> Here comes Elmer too, I can hear him. And come on down, this time hug the knees into the chest, gently rock side to side. And then from here, this one we usually call happy baby, but for Halloween, we'll call it dead bug pose. And it's a little morbid, I know, sorry. So grab the little toe size of the feet, or if you can't reach them, you can hold on to your legs. And then, if possible, extend your right leg out to the right, stretching it out. And then back to center. And the left leg out to the left. And back to center. And then if you've got the flexibility and it feels okay, both legs out. You can also hold on to the legs. You don't have to take the feet. Or you can grab your toes. That's fun too. Right, three. Relax the shoulders and two. And one. Hug the knees in. Then bring the arms to a T. Drop your knees off to the left and look over your right shoulder. And then inhale, knees to center, exhale, knees to the right. Look over the left shoulder. And then come back to center. We're going to make our way into Shavasana, which translates to corpse pose, so that's pretty scary. So I'm going to extend the legs out. Oh, hi, Elmer. Make the arms by my sides. This hat's not going to work so well, so I'm going to do it like this. <sighs> and let the feet flop open. Try and relax the hips toward the heels, the shoulder blades toward the waist. Quiet mind, quiet body. We'll rest for a couple minutes in Shavasana.
right where you are. Take a slightly deeper breath in and then let it release and start to make movements in your fingers and your toes and your hands and your feet and your arms and your legs and then bend your knees rolling carefully onto your right side and just pause a moment it's pausing for gratitude for all of our blessings and then with your left hand press yourself up fix your hat if it came off like mine did and sit up nice and tall and bring the hands together hands to the forehead to remind us to have clear and loving thoughts hands to heart to reminding us to have clear and loving intentions and the hands to the mouth reminding us to have clear and loving in communications sending out positive energy to all beings everywhere namaste Thanks for joining us today. Elmer and I enjoyed having you on this very scary Halloween. There he goes. And don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Drink a lot of water today. Now, you did a lot of tricks on your mat today, so you're more than welcome to have a whole bunch of treats. You just totally earned them. So if you wanna indulge in a little Halloween candy, I'm with you. And if you're interested in teacher training, send me a message. Actually, set up, set up for my email address at fightmasteryoga.com, and then I can send you information. I've got a training coming up. And if you are able to support Fight Master Yoga with a donation of any amount, there's a link below or at fightmasteryoga.com, there's a donate button. Most importantly, have a very safe Halloween. Don't eat too much candy and I'll see you soon. Bye. <laughs> you trying to get him to get me? Yeah.